Hey, this is Mark with The Practical Still. I'm here with Dan, also of The Practical Still, and it's time to open up another bottle. We recently, if you haven't seen that video yet, opened up another Leaper's Fork whiskey that's the bourbon. This is the Tennessee whiskey, also bottled in bond, also 70% corn, but instead of 15% rye, it's 50, uh, uh, excuse me, instead of 15% wheat, 15% rye, same 15% malted barley, and this is a Tennessee whiskey. They do fun stuff. They go in the barrel low at 110 proof. They come off the still around 137 proof. That's all good. Not chill filtered. All the right things. I don't particularly get excited about grain to glass, but they are a grain to glass distillery. So they're growing the grains, distilling, aging, everything right there in Leapers Fork, Tennessee. Absolutely beautiful area. Have you ever been that way? No. Gorgeous. I've been, well, I've, dri I've driven past it. Does the highway count? <laughs> sure. Yeah, the whole area is gorgeous. Okay. I've, I've but been they, on the highway. But they historically put these distilleries in beautiful little areas just because of water access and hills and all that stuff. This is no different. It's just gorgeous. Small mm. distillery. They pot still this. So it's all the things you want in a whiskey. Mm. It is pricey at 85 bucks in the gift shop. Ouch. But as we found with the bourbon, not 100% happy at that price tag, but a pretty good whiskey. So let's find out if the Tennessee whiskey is as enjoyable. I'm here for it. And as we mentioned the last time we opened the, uh, the bourbon, uh, full cork cork. Full cork cork. Do we get so, any smoke? No smoke. No. Maybe that's just a garage phenomenon. I don't know. Somebody, one of us <laughs> needs to Google something. And I, I really goofed Ooh, You that. messed that up. I goofed yeah. that label up. Sure. I got like a, a shoulder. It's a lip. It's like, yeah, lip, whatever. <laughs> I, bet it'll, I bet it'll pour okay. Oh, look at that. Uh, so right. bottled and bond, exactly four years old, age dated. Uh, it's a small batch. It's a small number of barrels. I actually figured that out, but I don't remember. Not that many barrels. Um, and it's, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. I think the bourbon was pretty good. Gosh, that's even sugar, more sugar yeah. than the, which you wouldn't expect with rye instead of instead of wheat. It's not as big of a nose as the bourbon was either. But it's, it's less less ethanol. Less almost. ethanol for sure. Mmm, delicious. Good. <laughs> oh, way less oak presence. Yeah. You get just like a little quick push of it right at the front, but it dissipates quickly. There's a, uh, mm. uh, like a eucalyptus or like something, almost like a rye whiskey. Mm. And that's only 15% rye. Wow. Not quite as creamy on the end, like the, uh, like the bourbon was with that, with that malt content. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. You, you, you get that, like the little bit of grassy flavor, with, like in a good way. It's like an earthy kind of. A little bit of grain, but mm. I don't get a lot. Get, it's more earthy. Yeah. Now I'm getting more of the nose now that I've got a sip in me. That's a lovely nose too. Mm. This is, I think. Ooh, second sip's all fruity on there yeah. too. I think this is quite a bit better than the bourbon, mm. honestly. It's just very different. Mm -hmm. Which you would expect with wheat and rye mixed up in there or swapped out. Just no, no ethanol burn. Mm -mm. Spicy though. Mm -hmm. It is God, delicious. No, much happier at 85 bucks with this. That. I would pay $85 for. I did. I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, as much as we like it, we can't get any more. I don't yeah. even think it's distributed here in Colorado. If it mm -hmm. is, I've never seen it. Uh, we only stopped into the distillery for a few minutes. Just we rearranged a trip and happened to be close. Really glad we did. Now. Yeah, this is this is quite. A, I would say this is uh, really really good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This is might be my new Tennessee whiskey favorite. -y. What? Bet more than more than Dickel? More than some Dickel. I like this. I never thought I'd hear that. Wow. Crazy things happening here on Open the Ball. Wow. Still. Hey, uh, you know, <laughs> hang out with us on Fridays. Don't forget, we're going to be doing, we're going to drink some more of this here shortly on Friday Sips Live uh, here on YouTube. It's fun and you're not working anyway. We know we aren't working. Everybody knows we're not working. <laughs> it's Come drink some whiskey fact. with us. Uh, this is good. Uh, for now, if you get a chance at this Leaper's Fork, uh, don't hesitate on the Tennessee whiskey. There's also a video you'll find on the bourbon that we just opened a few minutes ago. I think it's pretty good. It's not this good. But we'll let them sit for a while. We'll go back to the bottle and let you know what we think. Man, better than Dickel, huh? You're not even high on, uh, on motorcycle fumes in my better, garage. Yeah, normally I'm all jacked up on fumes <laughs> in Dan's garage. I don't know. It's pretty good. Cheers. I may be excited, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers.